okay. yeah. It's not emptiness, it's not interesting. Oh, my, my, my one was emptiness. Actually. Yeah, mine too. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure everyone too. is emptiness, but for I think uh, it's northern for me. Because northern is just splashable in literally every day, and yeah. um, you can just uh, go for the uh, the one uh, zodiac monster that searches the beast warrior, and then you can uh, overlay on top of it the Drasia, the thing that destroys. Mm -hmm. And it's like splashable in every every deck, yeah, and every deck can just abuse these deck engine just by using instant fusion. Yeah, okay, I, I agree that it's like. Of course. Yeah, go ahead. Going into the next format, of course, but like in hindsight of this format we are in now, like I don't really think Norden was that big of a problem. No, I don't think of so. Of course, either. Konami is aware of how good Norden would be in a zodiac format, and also. I guess with making Tizo is is like the clear implication that they they are going to hit Norden actually. Yeah. I mean it happened a long ago in the OCG and also like limiting it was completely irrelevant here. So it's definitely the time that it has to go. Yeah, Norden is definitely gonna be preemptive and of course institution itself was a problem, so it should mm -hmm. definitely be Norden. Well, yeah, yeah, I agree yeah. that I expect Norden to be banned, but I don't think if it's like the most necessary card of the format to leave. Like I had, I didn't have the impression that Norman that Norden was like ruining the format or something. Uh, definitely not this one, but yeah. like, the next one yeah. would be exactly, ruined yeah. by. Pretty yeah, much. I mean, yeah, it, it is pretty like, powerful in 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 Zodiac builds. Yeah. Generally, just like the next format has so many decks that can actually be used in some fusion. This format we just had ABC like as a yeah. top contender that used it, but like Infernoid and all decks in the next format can make use of it. As of now, it's not that big of a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah, since every deck is going to use the Zodiac engine, every deck can also splash instant fusion. Like they, you literally lose nothing if you just play three instant fusions, you only gain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna get into like what we expect or what we want for next format preemptively in a second. So other stuff, okay. uh, we've already talked about it, Emptiness. Um, yeah. It, yeah, it needs to go. So, like, yeah. it's yeah. way too powerful one off. Like, yeah. decides the game on itself. If you want to know why off. emptiness has to go, you can watch why it says Bokum final. Yeah, the final. I want to relate to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the emptiness. It, it's it's really time. Like, it, it's it's way it's way too stupid now because it's at one and like. The thing about emptiness, really, like, also is that I I myself am not even a big fan of the card at the moment because. Like, I'm not playing it myself in most of my decks, simply because, like, I know the card is, like, broken sometimes, but I feel like it's very polarized. Like, either it wins you the game, or it's, like, very useless, because either, yeah, exactly. like, when you go second, for example, and your opponent establishes the board, the card does nothing at all, so you're basically playing with one less card, and, like, that's something that the card, like, Dimensional Barrier doesn't do. Um, but then when you go first and your opponent doesn't have an out to it, the card is like completely broken. And I'm not a fan of cards that have like such the high variance. Is, like, the more decks we get that put negators on board, especially like negators that can protect emptiness, yeah. that's the point where it yeah. starts to really get broken, especially now with DDDs and like those shenanigans with Secret where you can turn it off in your turn and turn yeah. it on again when your opponent's turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, that's like, that's the... broken, but it's still kind of the same concept, right? If DDD goes second, like you're not yeah, that afraid of emptiness, and if they go first, first, they still have to open combo plus emptiness for it to be like that. But yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I, had, of I don't want to get prematurely into like talking about the next format, but especially now when we we are getting decks that can do combos with so little cards, cards yeah, like emptiness are that's true. Really, yeah, really because like Zodiac, can. Zodiac can easily yeah, fit a decent amount yeah. of trap cards in their deck, and like emptiness exactly. is going to be annoying. Yeah. Yeah, so Emptiness has to go. Um, yeah. Another candidate sure. that a lot of people want to see banned is Kirin. Kirin, yep. Which so, I yeah. think would be fine. I think the card is definitely way too strong. But um, mm -hmm. I'm also not sure the, the the new rules that have been like floating around the internet, are they confirmed now or are they like... No, no they're not. No, no, they're so are they still a rumor or is it confirmed that they are yeah, basically it's, not it's coming? Still it's a rumor. It's still a rumor. So if, if this yeah. if the ruling comes like that, I wouldn't mind Kirin staying there. Yeah, but like I really don't think that that ruling is gonna be as established. It it sounds way too absurd. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It really would make the little pendulum ID like kind of pointless. Yeah. yeah. 
However, I do uh, think. If it, yeah, yeah. Even if it if if these rules are true and they get applied, like it will take way, way too many months for us to be in effect. Like after years for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's after. So it's like we have we have too months. much time to. Yeah, talk, talk. Oh shit! Uh, I, forgot. I, I, finished. I forgot to share the stream on the groups. Like, yeah. For the rules to come here, it would take mm, at Three least months. over a year because, like, it would come, it would come with a set that brings uh, the new summoning mechanic, and like that has to happen in the OCG first. So the yeah. rules are way, yeah. way. In the future. From the moment we get applied the, in OCG, we, we need three months. Yeah. So, so but sure to be honest. Uh, I like the approach of these rules because um, I think Pendulum is a mechanic that honestly was a little bit imbalanced the way they did it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like um, just like banning Kirin won't fix the problem of the Pendulum mechanic because like as soon as Pendulum decks are good we have like cards like Strike and Fragrance especially that completely can, that can completely ruin the format but as soon as you ban cards like fragrance or strike the pendulum mechanic just gets way out of hand so i think the best way to balance it would be to like make a change to the pendulum mechanic i would like to see that yeah, it makes yeah, sense that, that should but not be made like not, so not, not this change extremely. yeah okay maybe maybe the change like like that would not be the best one possible just saying i like the idea of addressing the pendulum mechanic as a whole yeah definitely the mechanic itself yeah. So, yeah, there's not a problem, but it's, it's it's too strong for what it's it should be at, at the yeah. moment. And yeah, if they ban, ban like Kieran, next two three months we get another Kieran like card or something, and yeah. we have the, the same problem all over again. Yeah. So it's, it's not really that the problem with the pendulum isn't the mechanic in general. It's how decks that use the pendulum mechanic work specifically because like. It's it's both and like pendulum sorcerer basically, which we have problem cards mm -hmm. that created the problem in pendulums because you out advantage because you can summon from the extra deck, but like that's not happening in every pendulum mechanic ever. Mm -hmm. I mean pendulum decks. Okay, so yeah, I, I think if Kirin gets banned, no one will be surprised. No one will be really upset about it. Um, nah. But the whole pendulum mechanic still remains a... I don't want to say problem, but like it it will be like interesting to see where it's going to be at in it the future. It creates a balance generally. Yeah, because also like I would really like to see cards like Strike and Fragrance. Like I would like to see Fragrance banned and I'd like to see Strike at... No, Strike can stay at 3, I suppose. It's not an unfair card, I think. Um, but like I don't think you can ban Fragrance and leave the pendulum mechanic just as it is because it just would not be counterable effective enough for most decks. Alright. Hmm? I said the right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um anything else from the current format that you think needs to be hit? Like um, what do you think about ABC? Do is ABC gonna be hit? Do you do, like I only think they might hit terraforming in that deck because mm -hmm. there are so many um, field spells coming out that are at war already in the game. That this, uh, like every deck right yeah. now gets a field spell, whatever is good or bad, like yeah. Spiral, but also the Edelon. And I think if they want to hit consistency of multiple decks, sometimes they want to do that. I think they will do that by hitting terraforming. Yeah, I think terraforming I mean, is just the problem is. Yeah. From the money standpoint, there they want to sell the new decks actually, and like hitting terraforming would weaken general like future releases in general because they also plan to give every archetype a field spell, and so they also like a, in their articles even they mention like that you can play six copies because yeah, of terraforming. Of Don't think they will hit in eight more cards at all, so can sell them their the new so decks. So would it be better for them to hit just a Unity Hangar then? I like, think they will do it just If to, you like, would hit hit a card in the deck. Yeah. I think like, Union Hanger or Buster. Hanger, right? Of course as a player it's it's much better like everybody would agree on just the limiting hero for me and not the direct deal spells but like Yeah but from uh, their standpoint, standpoint from their standpoint they just wanna finish with ABCs because they won't make any profit of it and uh, like leave the new decks uh, with tri triple terraforming soon. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, but at some point they're still gonna have to do something about terraforming because the card is just gonna get better the long the, the like the longer it exists. The same it's the same with Rota, you know, like Rota was a very yeah. like fair card back in the day, you know, like when it was then printed. Go, but then uh, like the more the warriors goes. are printed, the better the card gets and at some point you just have to make like the yeah, you just have to say, Okay, Rota is at this point too strong. We are like they're limited in the in their card creation, right? They can't create a super good field spell like super super good field spell because you're gonna have six copies of it and the same was this the same case with rota you know like they, they can't really print a a really good warrior that is that you can just play six copies of that would just be like ruining the game at some point yeah so i i wouldn't be surprised if terraforming gets hit i honestly think it would be the right move but i'm not sure if they'll if they're gonna do it like it's not like like for maybe they won't do it now yeah is the fact that ABC kind of becomes irrelevant coming next format? So yeah, that's why I was asking: Do you do you want to see ABC hit, or do you think it like because ABC is already pretty irrelevant in yeah, this exactly. format, and the format is only going to be like a lot stronger with Zodiacs coming out, and ABC is one of the few decks that actually have like I think no application for Zodiacs at all. At least yeah. I've never heard of like because the deck is so normal summon centric. It's just like. The, the whole zodiac engine doesn't make much sense in it uh, unless you always draw the triangle and never draw the zodiac the, the rap. probably it's and not really needed to... for the for us like for us players for the game is not needed to hit it but like lorenzo said they probably hit it anyway because they want to be done in it, with it from a, a sales standpoint yeah also the deck players is like, who yeah. play abc right now should yeah. play something else from their standpoint yeah also the deck Generally, is not very it's... enjoyable so i would i would not no, like to no. see like like, you know, they don't hit it now, and then it's irrelevant for six months, but then they hit Zodiac, and suddenly the deck comes back. I'd like, I don't, I don't want to see that. No, thank you. No, no I also like, the, the thing is, like, most of the time, Konami bases their bans off the last format, and so they concentrate on banning or limiting the cards that made this format. That, that's just my opinion, and, like, most of the time, Konami's pretty much screwed up with prematurely banning stuff. Mm -hmm that could be broken in the next format. Like, the best example from the past was Wavering Eyes, the uh, free Bosch. Mm -hmm. It was expected to be broken and seen how it turned out in the OCG and they still didn't do anything about it. They most of yeah. the time just, like, finish the last format and just enter the new one and fix it with the next balance and don't... Yeah, however, that is, like, it's funny because that was actually the only format where they did the, the preemptive uh, emergency list, right? Yeah, yeah just the list. But they didn't hit yeah. Wavering Eyes on that, right? That, that's a whole other topic. Mike. Yeah, that's a whole different yeah. topic. But it, it, it's it's kind of interesting because it's almost like the same situation that we are in right now, right? We have a new set coming out, so... And we know it's going to be really, really good. Yeah, we know yeah. it's going to be broken. Yeah. And it's, we... It's been three years. Every YCS product is a tier zero format. Yeah, but still, like, last year we had the, 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 the big set coming out. Everyone knew it was going to be broken. Uh, broken. And... But like at this point, we're really overdue for a ban list, right? Like it's been five months. We kind of need one. Like they kind of yeah. have to do one. Yeah. So the question is, will they do the same thing as last year, or will they go a little bit? Just two weeks after release, yeah. They, they mm -hmm. don't need to do the same thing as last year because they released a ban list earlier, mm -hmm. and then they made the adjustment they immediately. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's not going to be an adjusted list, but the concept would stay the same, of course. I, I think they would most likely just try to fix a format that it's not like entirely uh, broke, you can like take out Teratop because... Yeah, that's, that's something Teratop. I wanted to say yeah. in that context as well, yeah. So we'll be leave this for, for, for the later on discussion. No, yeah, that, that, was, that was actually my next point. Um, I because... I really think that there's a possibility for another adjusted ban list. They, they received so much criticism last year about it and like players complaining that they bought into the new stuff yeah yeah I, de I definitely don't think that they will like touch the new cards i don't think so and i also don't think that they're gonna like kill zodiac I, one card that i'm no. i'm very very sure we're gonna see limited is terra top mm -hmm. yeah probably. because yeah, like it's not even just preemptively it's also just like in the past terra top has just been too strong yeah, of an that's, opening that's, a, that's yeah. the main point for it and and also just like it's a very good way of balancing out zodiacs without killing them because teratop is definitely not 
like banning terror or limiting terror top will not kill the deck the deck will still be very very good uh, there's a couple of versions or a lot of versions that don't even run speed droids so i think that's a very good uh, way to do it it's the healthiest way actually yeah and for and for Sil's standpoint as well because it's not going to be reprinted in the megatins because it wasn't a regular set and it's only be printed as an ultimate rare which is mm -hmm. not a Sil set so they yeah. won't lose money on it anyway yeah yeah so yeah, I, I do expect Terra Top to be limited, and I think that it, that would be definitely the correct uh, decision. Um, I also think yeah. most likely uh, Toad uh, is going to get limited. Yeah, yeah. From the other decks, from this format, basically we've touched on ABC, and there's still like Metal Foes and Paleozoics, and um, I think you're right about that. Yeah, I think they're gonna take an example from the OCG. I think in the OCG, Toad is limited yeah. at one. one pretty sure yeah yeah it is one yeah um i don't like to see it because i really like the frog deck but i i do uh, <laughs> agree that the card is definitely uh, super super broken and uh, i can definitely see it going to one yeah i don't know if it's super necessary looking at next format but looking at how dominant the deck was this format i, I do agree that it should go to one it's not something that it kills the deck or anything it's just something that generally makes the deck less broken mm -hmm. it, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's like it's like terror top it's like the, the healthy thing to do yeah it's not quite the same as terror top because terror top is something you have to hard draw and therefore like terror top just puts a lot of variance in the format because it's like you can't really um search terror top so it's just a matter of luck whether you open it or not while toad is just a resource from your extra deck but still yeah i do i do see it going to one yeah yeah um also people in chat are discussing about banning invoker and i do feel like invoker is not the problem if anything terror top no, is the problem terror, but, terror, yeah. Yeah. because invoker itself I is can, a very fair card point what, what they what people mean there because, and especially with upcoming Bowser Boon and that stuff, and like also the variant of Metal Foe Zodiacs, mm -hmm. the problem I see in Invoker is that every deck that can make rank 3 exceeds in it can mm -hmm. create a problem with Invoker because it's basically like we talked about Instant Fusion being yeah. a way that people can flash their Zodiac engine with the rank 4s, and like Invoker is the same thing in like, of course it will be irrelevant but like just take VA as an example yeah just like how the deck works and how it could abuse invoker yeah and people do like, that I've seen I've seen burning abyss zodiac decks just because they can make invoker turn one and also metal foes do run invoker in their extra deck I'm just not sure if that is really a problem like I think what's so unfair about um invoker uh terra top is that it makes invoker so easily or Dante if I if my opponent has to invest two cards into an invoker first of all it's it's not gonna happen that consistently and it's not even that broken and it's the same if, if metal foe has to open two level threes and make invoker that's not gonna happen that often and it's not gonna result in as much card advantage and so, it's also that it, it, it just like especially in, in metal foe what you talk what you uh, brought up like if you just draw a Bumbuko in complete scales, you have your, your Zodiac combos. Yeah, yeah, okay, but then you skip on Kirin. If Kirin survives the battle. So yeah, but then then, then you won't play Bumbuko anymore, I'm pretty sure. Or do you think you'd still play Bumbuko just for Invoker? Yeah, of course. Not. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I mean, yeah, but I, I get your point. Like, Invoker can still be really good. Um... But yeah, it's it's. I'm not sure if it's necessary. Like, I'm not sure if I'm really concerned about Metal Foes being able to make Invoker. I'm not sure if it's a problem that a lot of decks can splash the Zodiacs because of Invoker, because that also gives uh, decks a possibility because they can run the Zodiacs if it's with Invoker or not. Uh, it it really brings something new to the format because you can use a lot of decks we haven't even think of because they can make invoker so it, yeah. it has a little bit of positive uh, side as well that every deck that can make invoker uh, has a lot of easier access to the zodiacs mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's good for all the the casuals who want to play some other stuff exactly <laughs> <laughs> they buy the most cards we don't <laughs> that's true that's actually true um battle in general 
uh, I think if Kirin is banned, do you think that yeah, would be enough? Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just fine. enough. Okay, it's, 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 it's fun. It's pretty fair then. And... Okay, so if they, if for some reason they decide to not hit Kirin, is there any other like change you'd like to see for the metal foes? Because I think limiting any of the spells is definitely out of the question, because like they are yeah, usually one off yeah, anyways. Wouldn't do, yeah, it wouldn't do anything. There's no real way to really limit something in metal foes. You can't mm -hmm. just hit a random scale or. Yeah, because like yes. you, all you're gonna do is like hit the total number from scale from like. 15 or 18 down like one or two yeah. or three and so. actually like monsters are not broken it's not yeah unless like you would have to ban one because they can recycle them so easily yeah um and unless then, yeah. you limit mithrilium i could see that being okay because yeah, mithrilium is their main way of recycling them and the if... problem hmm? yeah that's really not the problem yeah i don't think so either i'm just saying if they don't ban kirin like... yeah if they want if you really want to hit uh, metal like, like, really badly they yeah. can be limited no, no point if they really dead streak then you want to destroy metal force, they just have to ban the fusion. That's the only way that really can hurt the deck. Yeah, and I don't think mm -hmm. that would be justified, honestly. Yeah. Because that I, I feel like that would destroy them. Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely not. And also like the OCG OCG also didn't do anything to the core of Metal Force. It's yeah, just but like That's justified. The they don't deserve the Shadow uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, rip shadows. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Rip. Um, barrier. What's your opinion on barrier? Oh, uh, I have a pretty good opinion about this. I, I think barrier should go into semi limited as the same thing as maxi. Mm -hmm. It's like it's the fact that if it gets limited, it becomes another emptiness which you can you will never play around because it's one, mm -hmm. and it become so in process it becomes cancerous. But if you go into semi limit, it's the exact same reason why the maxi got semi limited. Like. You can expect your opponent having it because it's too off. Uh, yeah. But you you would get hit by the first barrier, so everything is fine. You will lose a turn. But yeah. if you get hit by a second barrier, that's when you lose the game most likely. Mm -hmm. And that is the problem when you play three barriers. And that was the same problem with the three maxes. Mm -hmm. So now uh, it's exactly the same here. If you play two, if the barriers are two, then that the possibility of losing the game because that guy drew two barriers is very low. Yeah. So it will make sense. I, I like that logic on emptiness, even though it's a little bit depending on the format. But like a good example for this is like YCS Madrid 2014, when I played triple emptiness in Shadows, the card was not cancerous at all. Because Shadows yeah. had very good ways to beat it. Like you would never like Shadol would never set up a board that would just kill on the next turn if you did emptiness and the other Shadol players always had ways to out it, like they had a mathematician for dragon and stuff it was really easy to out emptiness but the card was still really good not as a floodgate but just as the best like one-on-one -on -one trap you know like if they should all fusion yeah. the best way to prevent it even if they out emptiness afterwards was still having emptiness and um or like they flip falco your best answer was still flip emptiness even if they out it afterwards so it was it was just a very good one-on-one -on -one, uh trap and it was but it was not unfair like it was very rare for emptiness to actually like win a game on its own you just used it as good one-on-one -on -one removal um so it was definitely kind of a format thing as well but like it's true that with three of a card people are going to prepare for it like you know if emptiness was at three at the moment you would see a lot more spell and trap removal being main deck exactly so um as back then it's definitely I, I i generally don't like the concept of limiting cards that are not searchable because of variance you know like if if a card like Shurit, for example, Rip Shurit, by the way, my brother. Um, don't start. Don't start. Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get into that. But like, uh, if a card is limited, I think it should be something that addresses the resource aspect of the game. You know, a lot of cards are limited that should be banned, and a lot of cards are limited that should not be like on the ban list at all. I feel like like a card like perfect examples for this are uh, Emptiness, Soul Charge, Face Off. Cards like that, they should they just should. If they're too strong for the game, then just ban them. Um, so like the whole purpose of limiting cards, I just don't get it for these kind of cards. For cards like Sir, I think it's perfect because it's a resource thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like it, it was never a problem to get to your Sir. It doesn't matter if you play three Sirs or one; you're just gonna get it at some point. It's just a question of resources. Yeah, so you have to choose to invest instead of just draw because you have free in your deck. 
So. Yeah, and also that's it w it's a really effective way to hit uh, Burning Abyss, for example, because it is so resource-based, you know, but limiting emptiness doesn't really hurt any, de any deck more than yeah, other. Just, it's just like... Just make it the game secure. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying, and that's like, yeah. Uh, I think semi-limiting barrier would be fine. Um, even limiting, it's like... I don't think barrier is quite as variance heavy as emptiness for example no, no. But, especially in this format like you said yeah it's looking at how blowout it can be in zodiacs um it's i think it's okay if they hit it but on the other hand it's kind of good that the card exists to contain zodiacs right it's like it's a pretty pretty good card against zodiac itself but yeah. I have to I have to agree on Samus' opinion too, but make it a bit more extreme. Mm -hmm. I really think Dimensional Barrier is a very misdesigned card in a way that it's a floodgate that can't be like can't be destroyed. Okay, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. That that's the problem I see in, in Barrier if they have a field and barrier, the thing is like if you're out the field the, the the barrier is still intact and you you just lose a turn and can't do anything about it and also the mm -hmm. difference to things like uh, scythe and sanctum is that they only have to play barrier and not, no inconsistent cards to resolve yeah. such an effect the good thing thing about barrier is that it balances single hand strategies and like most broken engines only use one of the four. Like, yeah, of course, engines. because it's most like consistent. Yeah. Spandex, uh, yeah. Zodiac is a uh, exceed spandex, and pendulums only use pendulums most of the mm -hmm. time to enable the other mechanics. But like that's the only the argument I see for this barrier being healthy. Yeah, I, I I would see barrier being healthy in some formats that are not so OTK heavy, like if you just like steal a turn with barrier and then just instantly win that would be pretty bad for the format and i honestly think it might be like that next format sometimes but um like uh if barrier was a card that would be like in, because in in grindy formats i think barrier would be pretty okay yeah right because like you possible. you take yeah, a turn but it's not that huge uh, yeah, yeah then, like, then, it, that's a, then it's actually a minus one like yeah, because like the, the game season. Yeah, uh, that is kind of how all the zodiac games go. Uh, starting the next format is that uh, when you have barrier, you, like, you will use your barrier to shut down your opponent for his turn, but he can also use his barrier to shut you down in his in your turn or mm -hmm. uh, his max C with any other of the other cards, and so it goes back and forth yeah. between the like uh, the barrier into barrier into max C to barrier into max C and something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is why I think that barrier needs to go into two because this way it's going to be like who will draw two barriers before the other. The other yeah, but on the other hand, if barrier doesn't exist, um, like a lot of games would just go slumber, rat, kill. Okay. Yeah, I, I think the entire Zodiac engine is a counter for to the existence of barrier because I think, like yeah, I think um, just one monster, and so the barrier doesn't. Like hurt so much, you need to invest two cards and then get barrier and then lose. So you can you can with your six five cards in hand or six cards in hand, you can use one monster to play. You get hit by barrier and then you have you still have out of your five cards something like two cards to protect yourself in uh, their turn. So mm -hmm. it, it kind of looks like this: uh, you will have more cards to use in your opponent's turn without losing anything uh, in terms of consistency or in uh, deck power or something like that well you you have to kind of adjust your lists in a way that they can grind against barrier like you can either play decks like eidolon or um inferno and zodiac which have other alternative ways to play under barrier or you can play like defensive stuff in order to not immediately die after you get hit by barrier and i think that's kind of healthy for the format because um if it would like if barrier wouldn't exist i think pure zodiac would just be way out of hand like um you just you just have twin twister or any spell trap removal plus slumber rat and you just win pretty much every time unless and then everyone starts playing hand traps again and it's kind of weird and stuff because like it's not like valkyrus exists or something like i think OTKs would just be too prevalent then 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. the, prob- the problem with, with that like back and forth barrier is that the player who goes first like can establish at least a semi decent board. Mm-hmm. But like that's just pressure you have to overcome before even creating your b- board and like preventing your opponent from advancing the board even further is not the ideal scenario you wanna be in. And that's a problem why Varia could be a problem in Zodiac, especially because they have such an easy way to start their engine. Mm-hmm. They can back it up like with yeah. multiple barriers and stuff. Yeah, but the thing is like because you only have you only have three barriers, you can't really count on like always countering your opponent's barrier with your barrier. So you kind of have to go for alternative deck strategies. Like you have to go for in deck building, you have to consider the fact that if your opponent has barrier, what do I do? And the the the, the strategy is not oh I'm gonna have my own barrier, right? The strategy is um, make my deck not lose under barrier, and I think that's healthy because it makes the the deck building a little bit harder and a little bit more balanced, you know. That's so, why I generally think the next format is going to be very very interesting. It's going to be. In, I'm not. I'm actually not sure whether it's like good or not. I think it's actually. Yeah, I think it's good, but I'm not sure how good exactly. Like, from what I've seen, the potential could be that it's like really, really good because like the Zodiac grind games and stuff. I think they're actually really, really good. I think it's generally a good thing that decks get more consistent. The problem with yeah. the decks format was that they're like in brackets there are really inconsistent and that led to many way to one side weighted games like one player brick the other had nuts and you can't do anything about it but like everybody having like this same consistency almost gives at least this like zodiac against zodiac engine grind games mm-hmm. and not taking into this aspect the other parts of the deck like and then it's like Adolon engine versus uh, yeah, otherwise you get ABC like versus ABC uh, scenarios we don't yeah. want that of course the, 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 uh, to be so, honest the current format I think got really good when people started playing Metal Foe and Paleozoic a lot more yeah yeah, um, yeah. very true as opposed to in the beginning where everyone was just running ABCs and that was, was really bad pretty bad format but yeah so yeah. if they would uh, hit the barrier like for this reason it would be preemptive but do you think there's a chance they will just uh, hit the berry because it, it it hasn't been a, a big problem last format that, it was right? pretty so good just, though right yeah it, it, it like it was good but it was it kind of like, I, I would kind of fit it in this format I kind of fit it in the same category as strike because like it's pretty it's good like, but it's not like a problem a really big problem but yeah and if you're just looking at Back at, at at the last form, of course they're looking looking forward, but um, they 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 haven't seen it as like uh, a massive problem. Mm-hmm. They they if they're just looking at at the last form, they're probably not gonna touch it because it's it hasn't been a really big problem. And also, I'm really trying to look into uh, Konami's standpoint, and because it hasn't been a big problem, and also the Megatons are approaching. Yeah. I don't really think they they will hit it. Like I, I really don't expect it. Yeah. It's also in a cat- category where cards generally don't get touched at all. Like it's in the same category as a strike and like strike didn't get. Yeah, it's just a good trap. I think the reason for strike trap. though is that they 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 are very afraid of the pendulum mechanic, like imbalancing yeah. the pendulum mechanic. It's the same for fragrance. I think we all agree that fragrance is a card that should be at least limited or banned but um, yeah, banned. Yeah. because limited it would be the, yeah the, the same, same what i was saying earlier about emptiness and stuff a, a but um on the same note i completely understand that they don't do it because the pendulum mechanic would be so broken like yeah like the deck i played at euros without fragrance existing like like it's, it just beats everything and i think that like a lot of formats it would have been like that you know like no no fragrance just so. everyone should play pendulum but yeah um okay so even though we weren't playing fragrance in palazzo last event but yeah well, i wasn't was playing it right. but a lot of people played it and it still True. had a big impact on the overall win rate of pendulum because it also changes yeah, the dynamic sure. yeah. it just changes the deck building dynamic because if fragrance doesn't exist you don't have to play much back row removal 
Like you can just play your metal foes and have triple eccentric and that's gonna be totally fine. Like you don't have to worry about like, you know, fragrance. Like you can play through strike, you can't play through uh, fragrance. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like fragrance is kind of their way, fragrance and strike are kind of their way to balance out the pendulum mechanic. Um, you've, uh, it's not a really good way because it's kind of unfair, right? Either way, like if they don't exist, pendulum is unfair. But if they exist, they are unfair. So, yeah, good solution would be to fix the pendulum mechanic. So, but we'll we'll see if that's gonna happen. Um, anything else for current format? I mm -hmm. think uh, Cyphrim Lawn Omega. Oh yeah. Just because it's uh, enabling the really nutty hand loop deck, mm -hmm. and Konami doesn't like those things in general. And um, I think you know it's a hit level either. But that's not really a solution. Just uh, I saw a video of Lithium, and he, he talks about the hand loop deck that top Rimini or both. I'm not sure. And he wasn't even playing level either. It's yeah, the zombie, Omega. zombie. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. And so it's really Omega. It, there's no other way around to hit that deck. It's just Omega. Yeah. And at one, it's still a fair. It's it's just a really good synchro. Yeah, which doesn't enable not nutty nutty yeah. decks. That's that's a very good card to, to limit to one because it's yeah. not like extra deck cards. Like limiting them doesn't really change any like luck factor in them. It just changes the the changes resources the, or the the, the amount of times you can summon them, and that's totally fine. So uh, I think I, I I really enjoy seeing Omega as like a one off in certain decks, just as an option because it's a really good card. But in normal decks, it's pretty fair. I feel like yeah. Like in Metal Force, it's like... Yeah, it's, it's an alright card, easy, you know, like DDDs, easy. sometimes they make it and it's okay, it's pretty good in that deck and like... But it's not like a problem that DDD can make yeah. Omega, you know? So as long just... as you cannot make free free one turn yeah. consistently. Yeah, yeah Omega a... is a pretty good limit, I think. Um... Alright. So... I guess yeah. we can talk about stuff that could come back. Lorenzo, there's something wrong with your connection. Okay. Lorenzo is a rip. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just uh, kick him from the call right. and he can rejoin when his Skype connects again. Okay, rip Lorenzo. Sad face. I think um, uh, Sengen is going to be like going off or it's not, not really point uh, it doesn't really fit anything because it's saying it's not really going to do anything I think but it got the errata and hasn't come off yet so that's the errata is they... like you search but yeah, you can't use I it mean, that you cannot turn? use it in that turn is it use it or summon and like uh, use cards with this with F no, I'm not sure I can like look it up but yeah I'll look it up it's like there's no point errata, errata something and not Bring it back. Yeah. Has Sangen been a rat as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't, you can't, um, not, you can't summon. Oh, you can't summon, but you can't activate the card or the effects. Okay. Did that turn right? So. Yeah, this turn you can't. Really you search good. a monster with yeah. fifteen hundred or less. You can't use the effect basically. So it's really good to search like hand traps or something. Yeah, I guess, but like. Would you play so it like, would, even? Yeah, like in, in what would you play it and consistently kill it without like wasting your numbers? Like I, I think it's not gonna would, would never become a problem at the moment. So yeah, so like I mean, take it off. Oh, you would maybe use it in metaphors to kill uh, send someone, then kill it to grab a maxi. Yeah, okay, yeah. but that's still it's a one. You can do the same thing with cool. retaliating Z though. Yeah, but you can yeah yeah and you can play t uh, two with the tour guide so it's so, yeah it's okay. It's actually not that bad because you can also grab. Uh, centric, but it's yeah, I guess you, I guess something. you might play it in Metal Force, okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's other errata cards, right? We still don't have Demok, right? Um, I'm not even sure. No, I don't think we have. Yeah, Demok. I have no, no idea. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm Demok pretty sure we don't have Demok, but all I think all the errata cards, like they don't really need to be discussed because most of them are just not. Yeah. Good enough, just, anyways. I don't see why. Yeah, don't except for yeah. except for Imperial Order, I I really don't think that card should come back. No, 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 no. no. Get away from us, no. Yeah. 
Please no. <laughs> Please not another flood. I I don't I don't know who had that idea. Like like let's make another. Let's bring back the OG floodgate. Like I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't know who thought like that that would be a good idea. Um, so let me just go through the list here. I have it open. Towers, hell no. Uh, dragon rulers. Honestly, I mean, I love hell dragon no. ruler format, but I'm. I don't think it's gonna happen. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think it, we know. Anyway. Hmm? We know don't... which card needs to come back from the banned cards. Yeah, sure it. Sure it. Yeah, sure but, it. Uh... <laughs> That's what we want. Just a little boy. Uh... Maybe construct. Construct yeah. maybe, sure, yeah. Oh man, these kind of cards, it's like, sometimes I wake up at night and I, I'm like, why is Shurit banned? <laughs> then, I, then I can't sleep. Okay, so... Uh, no, 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 Jin. Stratos, I guess, oh, everyone yeah. always wants Stratos, but I don't really want yeah. Stratos. Like, yeah, like, if you look at how Cancerous Hero is already... Oh, we haven't touched hero actually. Is there any merit? Well, we, we we touched the Norden, so it's I guess if you hit Norden and Toad, yeah, okay. Yeah. Make a toad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, but you can still. If if you ban instant fusion and limit yeah, you can toad, still make toad, you could still toad. open Dark Lord Toad really consistently. I feel like. But yeah, I mean. What else would you hit in hero though? Uh, I don't really know. Shadow Mist, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. Hero leaves maybe. Because so, like Dark Law, Dark Law makes no sense because it's always the first one that kind of kills you most yeah. of the time. Okay, yeah. extra that card. Yeah, the mass change is true. Yeah. Yeah, Actually, do you do you think list. do you think they might hit Slumber? It's just an idea that I just had because I'd really like that. I think. No, no. no. It's, it's also weird. too preemptive. Yeah. You don't think so, or you don't like it? I don't think I don't so think because think... it's okay. too preemptive. Mm -hmm. Like it's rarely being played right now, so no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they might uh, change Monster Gate into Semi. Okay. It kind of makes sense because like the Infernoid versions, like they have been toned down to to us because we're not getting the the amazing Bujin Pendulum Master mm -hmm. and uh, the broken. Uh, uh, extra deck master like yeah, uh, yeah the fusion yeah, yeah. And we're not getting this so uh, in OCG they also were also playing with uh, three monster gates and one reasoning because I think two monster gates reasoning. but it, uh, I think the the semi limited afterwards I'm not sure but yeah, it, it was two for sure yeah uh, and uh, it it kind of makes sense like uh, we have a, a weakened version of the deck so we don't have the exact same thing in OCG so giving us uh, one, more than one monster gate it would make sense to like uh, get the deck a little bit better towards its true um, true version as it is in OCG mm -hmm. I think in general on the band slot there is a couple of cards that could come back but like how likely is it really like damage juggler shure construct exiton probably they don't just they don't just do it because Zen Mighty focusing on different things. Uh, Zen Mighty could could work because they semi limited magician lost the list. So I mean, most of the stuff could happen. It's just a question of how likely is it. Yeah, because it's, it's it's more likely because usually like same with Blackwing back in the day, they it takes a couple of lists for a deck to like return, yeah. and because they gave wind up something last turn. Yeah, last okay. turn. Oh my god, <laughs> last ban list. Uh, Someone like, like... It's, it's likely they will give something back. Yeah, list. maybe, maybe. Uh, like, just remember how long it took for fucking best Yahari to go back to three. <laughs> yeah, of course. Or is it even at three, or is it still at two? No, is it three? Two, I think. It's two. Really? It's three. No, it's three. Oh, it's three. Oh, oh, I check. Three. Okay, okay, it's three. It's I, three. I didn't even notice it was in three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course you didn't. Like, the deck is. The, it would have been super irrelevant. Like, they could have done it like five years <laughs> ago, but they didn't. But yeah, so a lot of stuff could come back, even though it wouldn't have an impact. Like, who cares if Bestiary is at one or at three? You know what I mean? Yeah. Even like, I don't think Zen Mighty would have an impact, right? No, I'm really. pretty sure it wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, I guess yeah, you could. I guess you could splash it in some decks. Like in the OCG, I've seen frog decks run. Uh, 
how did they make it mighty i forgot teratop maybe teratop anyways they they were able to make um they bring out the the wind up snail which is an aqua <laughs> so they they could make more toads with that i don't know some but like i think pure wind ups wouldn't really be a thing pretty sure too slow for uh, our format <laughs> I guess it would be cool with Zodiacs, maybe, when you can make like Zen Mighty into Invoker and stuff, but whatever. <laughs> um, other stuff that's banned, I don't think there's much else. I mean, no. Probably not. Stuff that's limited. Moral Tag. Oh, yeah, Moral Tag. I think they should definitely bring Moral Tag to 3 and Semi Limit or Limit Sanctum. Because, like, Moral really? tag for sure is not the problem. It also makes the like if you play, uh, you can really easily play Elum with uh, artifacts, and if you have three moral type in your format and also multiple scythe, it really makes it interesting with people like mindlessly playing twin twister into your mm -hmm. back row. Yeah, you but have, like, like multiple. Still, I, I, I think I like that. I think I liked Sanctum way more in formats where. Um, where it was not for scythe but for moral tag. Yeah, because it's, because that's like that's impact. so much more that's so much fairer, you know. Like I wouldn't even mind no. they can they can unlimit moral tag and just ban scythe, and I think that would be cool. Yeah, that was because I'm pretty sure easy. that that the sanctum engine would still be pretty decent. Yeah, just not. You would still like play it in in a couple of formats turn. in a couple of decks because like a trap that can you know, genuinely just destroy a face up card would still be really good, mm. um, and like yeah, you can find ways to pop your own moral attack and stuff. I think that would be cool, but like size is just like so imbalanced, so right? Either it's completely crap in a format or it just completely wins you the game most of the time. So like i don't know i i just I, i'd like to see either limiting sound sanctum but uh the, the version i would really prefer is just unlimited moral attack and ban scythe and make the engine overall just fairer mm -hmm. but still That's consistent really cool. still consistent enough to be played right because like if sanctum is limited no one's going to play it it's just terrible like you'd have to play two or three artifacts just on one fucking sanctum you'd not play it yeah <laughs> so that basically kills it but yeah uh, but I don't think they will uh, do anything with the artifacts you know, yeah. at the end. I would, I, I'd really like to see that. I don't know if they will do that. Yeah, that's though. true. That's really true. It's not super impossible though, because Sanctum has been like kind of relevant even in this format sometimes, and then yeah. Uh, in the next the next format is going to be more relevant. Like Sanctum is like slightly more barriers. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's why I'd like to see it hit uh, the 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 mm -hmm. side being hit. Side. Oh, yeah. Completely agree. Mm -hmm. But it's also it's not uh, like Sanctum is kind of worse barrier because like if uh, when Sanctum becomes popular in the format everyone just mains Chalice same as in OCG yeah so you can counter it it is a little bit more counterable than than barrier that's true mm. no this is not the new ban list by the way we're just discussing our <laughs> predictions and stuff for everyone who may think that not the new ban list though. No. Well, we will do a discussion once it comes out for sure as well. Um, we'll do one immediately when it gets posted. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, people in chat are also saying that sure it should go back to one. I'd love sure it back to one. I know the OCG has one and they're still not playing it. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure if sure it is back. Sure. Hmm? They have yeah. a lot more. Bring what sure it is back. No. Yeah, sure it should come back. Um. Yeah, I, I, I scroll through this list and I see so many cancerous one-offs that I just like to see banned because they're so imbalanced. Like even Soul Charge. Soul Charge is not very good at the moment in this format, not very relevant. But as soon as it becomes relevant again, the card will just be so retarded. You know, just look at Blue Eyes. It's like... like even, yeah, I just want to say, like even in, in the deck like Blue Eyes, which is, yeah, not pretty much crap garbage yeah that one yeah the one car makes it so stupid no yeah. like when you have it mm -hmm. yeah Lorenzo your, your sound is very bad who your sound oh Lorenzo's Lorenzo. back I didn't even hear <laughs> we cannot even hear him 
like the voice is very low. Yeah, your your sound is not muted, but pretty much off. Yeah, just put the headphones in. Say again. Can you? Is it better now? Yeah, when yeah. you hold it very close to your mouth, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Uh, I would also. You yeah. Say yeah. Yeah. I I would also lo uh, love to have uh, Book of Mormon getting semi limited, uh, mm -hmm. because because it becomes very relevant coming in new format along with Charles. Okay. Even it's free. Uh, uh, I think three is too much. Uh, two should be fine because Book of Moon is very, very, very versatile as a card. Yeah, so, I uh, as, as, a, as a tool, it should be pretty good. And yeah, you can finally play two, two super Book of Moon. I hate <laughs> amazing the feel. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Book even at three. I think because I, th I think the card is really good, but it's not broken. Um, yeah, it's not broken, but sure. um. Yeah, the question is just how realistic is it that they just touch like a random card like Book of Moon? Like for example, Bottomless could also go up, I yeah. think. But Trial like, Rancher, Huffles, yeah, like all those old cards, they're probably yeah. not gonna hit it. Yeah, they can probably go up; it wouldn't really matter much. Like, uh, uh, I mean, Compose would definitely hard. matter. Compose is gonna be pretty good, but yeah. Yeah. Same. Same with Book of Moon. It's pretty stable in the OCG. Yeah, kind of. Yes, they they do play it a fair amount. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think there's these cards at two would be fine. There's mm -hmm. like a huge okay, we'll list of cards that could come back, but they're just like forgotten somehow. Yeah, yeah, we did talk about quite a few cards already that just like they are on the ban list, but like doesn't really matter if they even come back because most mostly not gonna matter. Um, yeah, exactly. I just think like it's it's not really gonna happen. Like torrential tribute, all that stuff. They they can't make such a big ban list also. I mean, they do. It's kind of uh, torrential. I can see happening just because the OCG has it already. So we kind of know that they, they are aware of the idea, you know, that they at I least considered it at like, some point. The problem is just like when they split it apart. It was, I think, the the Dragon Ruler ban list, which like limited yeah. all staples here and didn't do it in the OCG. And now, like how big the lists are. I think that was like the list with the most hits ever. Yeah, but it was a and good one. Of course, yeah, yeah it's list. a really, really good one. But like they won't do such a ban list now, and it's really hard to get into the state where the OCG is now because mm. there's so mu much in front of us yeah. with all these cards being a two already. And like we've seen it in the past list, they like give us back irrelevant stuff like Magician of Fate and that stuff. <laughs> Great. Magician of like, Fate. Also, the, have you talked already about the Eradot cards? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. We touched on Sangan and stuff. Sangan. Yeah, and like that's the next thing. Like there's way too many cards. They would have to slowly return to the game now. Yeah. Not, it, it's not like it matters though. In like for exactly. competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, it's not really gonna matter for most of those. Yeah. No. Um. Do you think Dark Hole or Raigeki could get hit? Because I know the OCG has zero Raigeki and one Dark Hole only. What the? No, I don't think they, they will. Yeah, I think I think they're fine, easy. honestly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like even if they would, it would just like increase the uh, amount of people who play Slumber with Kaijus. So mm -hmm, wouldn't yeah. do anything. Yeah. Uh, people in chat are also talking about Mermail. Um, we already touched that. Like, if we expect Norden to be banned, which I think is very likely. Also, because of the new thing, the the level five fusion. I think that's kind of like. It's kind of their way to be like, yeah, we're gonna ban Norden, but we're not gonna yeah, make your instant fusion, fusion yeah. completely useless or something. I like that approach. Yeah, I, I think it's still gonna be pretty useless in most decks, but yeah, because it's not right quite now, the same. It could be, it could be okay, well, it's true. It, yeah. It should be fine, it's still fine for the future. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. But yeah, still, I, the point is, I think Norden is gonna be hit. 
Uh, and is is that enough for mermaids, or should there be something else? Mermail yeah. is very weird. Like yeah. it's you like in Rimini made, made like the best comparison. It's always like the scariest deck to play against. Yeah. But like there's nothing really broken to it. Like they... also if we hit the toads to one, like. Same to the northern end, the total one you, you hit it. The problem really with both of these changes in. is that they make the deck even more like all in and prints OTK again, you know? Like, I remember a, a regional that I played with Minerva, with the Frog Minerva list, uh, the very beginning of this format. I played against a, a Mermaid player and I opened the Valor, Bahamut Shark, Toad, Minerva, and Amaterasu, and he just killed me. Like he just went, yeah, he, like just, he just went Kaiju over Toad, Raigeki, Prince. Obviously, he was under Dweller, but he still OTK'd me with like mega low double attack skill because I was at six thousand because of Trick Clown and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't want to play against that. I'm scared of that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Nightmares. Like, that's what. What can you do about it? Like, yeah, that happens. Very... If you go if you go back to that like all in mermaid type of deck, if you wanna hit that you have to completely kill off mermaids and like limit uh, Naptibus or something like that. And, like the sphere and lind style of mermail is just so power creep that oh, it's best it's best like... style of mermail, I, I miss that so much. Like back <laughs> back in the day when mermail was actually so good at grinding and stuff, I really miss that. But yeah, you're yeah. you're kind of right. I, I don't think that there will be a time for that style. Uh, yeah, like, maybe that maybe sometime in the future, but yeah. So if they if they were to hit Prince, I guess that might kill Mermans completely if that grindy style never comes back. But yeah, stuff like I mean, you yeah, could limit video. dragoons, and it would still be. Possible to play the deck, but I suppose. It, yeah, it, it would actually be a good approach because it would make Prince less good, especially like creating turn one boards. Yeah, but still broken. Yeah, of course. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah, that's why. A, it's still a plus two, but like without the second dragoons, like stuff like Glacia and stuff is way less accessible. So it would like make the turn ones a bit weaker, at least. Mm -hmm. Um, people in chat asking about do you think the rulers are gonna come back um, we talked about it a little bit at the, I think the, the, the thing is I think they could come back but I don't think Konami is that interested in bringing back some old stuff not at this point yeah it's just like uh, we, we've seen a lot of like... stuff that could come back but like uh, it's just unlikely that they're gonna just sit they there just and like this is the list where we're gonna bring back rulers you know like there's, they've been banned for like what is it now three years or something two years no three pretty sure three or four yep. and like you know like why would they be like oh yeah this is the list where rulers have to come back you know or this is the list where zen mighty has to come back or this is the list for sure it has to come back something it's just unlikely it's definitely happening when they like bring out new dragon support it's always tied in with like pushing new sales yeah i suppose like, i suppose that could happen list. yeah Mm -hmm. When that day comes, I will do a huge party. I'll make sure that the entire Athens will not go to sleep that, that <laughs> night. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we've touched most of the stuff for like past format, upcoming format, stuff that could come back. Um, this will be uploaded to YouTube, so if you have missed anything, uh, you can definitely check it out over there. Um, so I think that's going to round out the stream for tonight. Thanks everyone for joining in the chat and thanks for you guys for joining the discussion here on Skype. Anytime. Yep. Um, I'm going to update the schedule for this week's streams uh, tonight or tomorrow for everyone in uh, who, who wonders when we're going to be back again. Uh, I think Rafael's PC is too too bad for streaming, so yeah, we're, we're going to have to... I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna fix another one that isn't a MacBook, yeah, for sure. Okay, so um, Raphael probably not gonna be streaming this week, but Eugen and me are definitely going to, and Marcelo still has to fix some issues with his PC as well, so we'll see about that, but 
Uh, yeah, and then I have another thing which Helvik told me to post in the chat. Uh, I think it's a little giveaway that we're doing over on Twitter to promote our Twitter accounts. I'll just post a link in chat. Let me just open it myself and see what you can get. Uh, oh yeah, you can win a Spellground mat and two of Invasion of Vengeance Special Editions by following and retweeting, I think. Um, yeah, that's just a little bit to promote our upcoming Twitter accounts because we are starting to use it a bit more. So you can follow our Complexity Card Gaming Twitter and also our personal Twitters if you want over on Twitter. So yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. Um, hope you enjoyed and see you guys. See you. Alright.